Hey guys, Flute Player 777 here. Um, I figured it would be neat to do a and a A lot of YouTubers are doing them right now. And I figured it's one way to get to know me a little better. Alright, so I'm going to start with the favorites, likes, and dislikes. And then we'll go from there. There's a wacky question at the end. Um, so my favorite color, olive green. Uh, genre of music. I like classical and acoustic rock. I'm not really a fan of like rap. Uh, some country music's okay. I don't like screamo music at all. Um, and of course, uh, Christian type music is pretty cool. Um, okay, uh, my biggest fear heights, but I will definitely ride a roller coaster. Um, from what I understand, Six Flags has recently come out with a couple new coasters. So whenever I go down there, I will certainly try them. I'm not allowed to bring cameras on there, but it's definitely worth a try. Uh, my favorite author. This question comes from Nina. Uh, she's my good friend. Uh, Nicholas Sparks and Dan Brown are my two favorites. But lately I've been reading all different kinds of, um, all different authors. Uh, the author from Fault in Our Stars. I've been reading his books lately. Really great dude. Uh, my nickname, it's Kat or Katya. Uh, my, my real name is really obnoxiously long. Um, well, let's see. The song that sums me up, I'd have to say it's Classic by MKTO. Um, it's, it describes how timeless somebody is and how they're not um, plastic. They're not... Um, that, uh, okay, put it this way. Somebody has once told me that I'm an old soul. I like older music, Beatles, Bee Gees, you name it. I like it all. Um, and I'm older than I seem from my years, but I look younger than I am. Okay, so general questions about music and what I do. Um, how many hours do you practice? Um, I think I've had this asked by a number of people while I was street performing. On average, I practice about six hours a week. Um, and if I have a concert or something coming up on like a Saturday, I'll practice maybe few hours each day just to make sure that I got some parts down. I may even meet up with my fellow orchestra mates. Uh, how many years have you been playing? I've been playing about 15 and a half years. Um, and this brings me to my next question. What instruments do I play? Well, I play flute. I've tried out recorder and Indian flute, but it hasn't worked out and I'm putting off the or orchestra, excuse me. I'm putting off the recorder project for a while. Because it's a lot of work to learn all of that. It's a new instrument, entirely new. Instead of horizontal, it's vertical. So I've got to learn, relearn a lot of stuff. And I've been playing piccolo for about five months. Now, I own two flutes and a piccolo. One of them's like a student level. The other's a concert level flute. And then the piccolo is the miniature. And I will probably end up using that in the July concert series for Patriotic. I think it's fitting. Um, and my wackiest question is what's the longest I've gone without sleep? Okay, this is a good one. It comes with a couple of stories. Um, okay, I'll start with the New Year's story. It was funny. Uh, I woke up about 9 o'clock, and I did not want to take a nap or anything before New Year's. I always do, because New Year's is always so fun-filled. But I just, I couldn't, I couldn't fall asleep. So I was up most of the day. Um... And then I went to a party, and I didn't get home until about 8.30 um, in the morning. So that's most almost 12 hours, I mean 24 hours, that I wasn't sleeping. Um, but I did pass out right when I got home. Another story was at the conference that I go to up in Pennsylvania on occasion. They um, hold a lock-in on the last night. Well, the, the morning before the lock-in, that morning... Um, we get all of our stuff together about 7 o'clock in the morning. Most of us get up just to make it to the communal bathroom. But we get up, we pack our stuff, and go to breakfast, lunch, whatever. And then we go at the end to one last event and then the lock-in. Uh, well, the lock-in's an all-night thing. I don't remember, uh, I think it was maybe 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the morning by the time I was starting to pass out. So I started walking back to the dorm. And once we got all of our bags into the bus, I passed out when I was in the bus. So it was kind of weird because um, as soon as we left the area, 
halfway through the trip, I was awake and everybody else was asleep, so it was really quiet and eerie. But it was the strangest thing because I get the worst headache when I don't, you know, sleep for 24 hours. But it was a funny story. Um, all right, so stay tuned. I've got the July concert series coming up. Um, I'm going to record that either today or tomorrow. Not entirely sure. Um, right, and stay tuned for further projects, too. And if you have any suggestions, put, uh, put them in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.